I've been making some organza and satin and Beijing silk flowers. These are similar to lollipop flowers. I um, basically I you cut out a lot of circles and you melt the edge with regular lyre and that seals it similar to what you can do with ribbon the dance shoes and you layer them and stitch them in place or you could glue and you end up with some beautiful little hair clips or flowers for your pages um, and these are going in my little stash for little uh, giveaways for um, my swaps now if you um, like this I'm going to have a little giveaway so leave a comment and subscribe and I'm using my cattle bus today and the Sussex Circles number 2 die and um, that's got four circles on it and I'm using that to cut these uh, organza and other fabric flowers out you just need two B boards to get it to go through and also a piece of card stock I've just got a scrap of card to act as a shim to help press it through so that um, it cuts out now I'll just grab the fabric ok I'm going to make some hot pink my daughter loves hot pink and this is a scrap that I've got left over from my sewing project so I'm going to use that so this is a great way to get your st stash of little scraps down next time now just make sure that your fabric isn't cotton that it's actually got some acrylic so it will melt on the edges otherwise you'll get that burnt look but if you want that burnt look well that's great some people um, layer different fabrics together and I might even do that and today we'll have a look I've got the die facing up for the cuddle bug I've got a B plate, the die, then the fabric folded in half uh, you could put more layers of fabric and see how you go but this is a funny shaped remnant so I'm just doing it in half ok so you can see that's the circle cutters ok then we're going to put the top plate and the shim so I've now got the top plate and the cardboard shim which gives it a little bit more tooth for the cuddle bug to grab on too makes it easier to roll through plus it gives it a harder press so you get a better cut out otherwise you've got little sections that don't quite cut out and you may still get a little bit of that but it won't be as bad and um, let's roll it through Just give it a little push to roll your handle. It's much quicker when you've got two hands. It's not a film. Okay. And see, we get your circles. Now, what I do is enough for at least two and I like to put two of each circle in each flower so I will do that again and then I'll show you how I melt it and put it together and make the centre ok here we are with the cut out circles now don't worry if they are slightly not perfect that's fine because petals aren't get your lighter be very careful and you're just touching the edge now if you can come from underneath you can get quite a nice curl your flowers petal. Every fabric will be different. I haven't tried this one. Let me just see how much flower I can get. This your ganza is the perfect one, and I might demo your ganza. You won't get as much curl on some fabrics. Different fabric will also curl a certain way. I'll just play around with it. Okay. Next 
The lighter gets really hot. So I'm going to have to give it a rest at the moment. Better to have two lighters. You can actually shape it in. If it's cut a little bit crooked with the lighter, it'll just shrink it in more than one spot. I'll show you this fabric. This is um, a very cheap little um, lining silk and it just curls beautifully. See, a lot of melting. It's much more. You can see the flower. This is one that I'm working on at the moment and it's made from that purple, really thin, cheapy looking uh, lining silk and it actually looks gorgeous. Yeah, the cheaps, the cheaper um, fabric has got a lot more curl. This fabric here has curled a lot better each petal compared to this fabric, which is still very soft. So. But we'll keep soldiering on. Every flower will look different, and you just cut some more little circles if you need a little bit more in the middle. A bit more shrinky. Sometimes I find if you come up from underneath. And when you're layering up the petals, just put them a little bit off centre. So, like, don't lay them flat on one on the other. Just a little bit off centre so that your petals. I'm sort of moving about. You make sure that you catch all of them though in the centre. But you will just get a much nicer, more natural look if you off centre the petals. Okay. Just to gather all that together. So that's basically the look you're going to get. And I like to either put some pearl flowers or another little tiny flower in the centre. And there's your little flower. Um, I can sew them on the back or you put hot glue. And that's it. It's done. You could introduce combs or larger head clips. Anyway, thanks for watching. Um, uh, the organza do ruffle up a lot more. And the cheap little um, acetate so, uh, silk lining fabric actually ruffles up really beautifully and that one's beautiful as well. Okay, I've just finished the second one and I've put extra petals and I think it looks a lot nicer. So you just play around with your fabric and three lots of each petal does make a nicer, fuller, rosy flower. And these are going to be great on scrapbooking pages as well as hair things whatever you want to use them for and you know even necklaces or on shirts so when I, I, I might make myself a shirt and show you all